Hi, one one. It's Miss Juliano again. Um, I'm here, going to teach you poetry. I want you guys today to be writing a poem that's kind of inspired by a song, and it has kind of a beat to it. So, as you guys know, every morning we we, we um, do calendar math, and one of their songs we sing is the three song. So, I know all about my three E's. Yeah, three six nine twelve fifteen. Oh, 18, 21, 24, 27. And I know all about my three, so come on and just join me. So a lot of you guys know that song was actually inspired by a Justin Bieber song. And one of my students, my first year at PS316, Nadia, wrote it. And uh, so I want you guys to be inspired today by real songs. And because songs are basically just another form of poetry. So I have a song that you guys have always all heard about, heard of, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the spout again. So you see how uh, the writer of this broke it up into lines. None of these at the end have periods on them. And the reason why the writer didn't do that, because in poems you don't always need punctuation. And the reason why the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout isn't on the same line, because the writer wants you to sing it like the Itsy Bitsy Spider. And then you take a breath, climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain. So it helps you know the rhythm or beat of the poem by having it separate it like this in different lines. So I'm going to show you now how I'm going to try my best to write my own inspired poem that kind of has a beat similar to Itsy Bitsy Spider. So I have my um, whiteboard up here. So Itsy Bitsy Spider. So I'm going to say, the very friendly cinder to the very friendly cinder. Let me start make this a little zoomed out. Very friendly cinder. Climb. So I'm going to think, climbed up the water spout, climbed up the water spout, six syllables. We kind of talked about the syllables a little bit um, with community work. So climbed up the castle's tower, climbed up the castle's tower, the very friendly cinder climbed up. Oh, Climb the castle's tower. So then instead of down came the rain, I'm going to say, out struck the lightning. Out struck the lightning. And Cinder screamed ouch. Well, I'm running out of room on my line. Let me try to adjust this. And Cinder screamed ouch. So I'm going to try to sing them the Litsy Bitsy Spider and see how mine goes. The Itsy Bitsy Spider um, went up the water spout. Down came the rain and wiped the spider out. So then it would come out, came the sun, and dried up all the rain. So I'm going to say, next, she then spread her wings. She then spread her wings. Oh, I misspelled it. Good thing I'm checking. I missed that. She then spread her wings. And flew up to the top. 
having some trouble with my spelling right now. Do up to the top. So, the very friendly cinder climbed the castle's tower, outstruck the lightning, and cinder screamed, ouch. She then spread her wings and flew up to the top. Hmm, I might change that a little bit. So, out came the sun and dried up all her, all her wings, flew up, up very high. Now, Cinder the Dragon. Let me read it. The very friendly Cinder climbed the castle's tower, outstruck the lightning, and Cinder screamed, ouch. She then spread her wings and flew up very high. Now Cinder the Dragon knows she can fly. So this is a poem inspired by the beat of the little itsy bitsy spider. It doesn't have to be exactly, but I try to keep it so it's the same amount of lines and it has a similar, I can sing it in a similar um, tone. So I'm going to read one, mine one more time. The very friendly cinder climbed the castle's tower. I'm going to add that. The castle's tower outstruck the lightning and cinder screamed, ouch. She then spread her wings and flew up very high. Now Cinder the dragon knows she can fly. I hope you enjoyed my own inspired poem from the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Here's Cinder. Cinder, did you like that? Yes, Miss Juliana, that was great. So now what you guys are going to do, I'm going to, I am going to post um, a document where you can either type or you can write on a separate piece of paper your own inspired poem. You can use Itsy Bitsy Spider like I did, or you can choose a different song like I'm a little teacup or a happy birthday, anything that comes to your mind that you want to use as an inspiration. Um, you could even use a current song like my old student Nadia did, like a Justin Bieber song or maybe a Shawn Mendes, whoever you guys like, you can even maybe get inspired by a musical artist. All right, guys, happy writing. I'll talk to you soon.